Streamlined tracks are created voxel by voxel. In one voxel, a diffusion tensor can come in a variety of ellipsoid shapes. Hardy, or cue ball glyphs, can also be computed within a voxel. These are shaped differently because they can account for more than one fiber direction. For example, this glyph represents two crossing tracks. In contrast, this glyph implies only one tract. To reconstruct the axonal tracks throughout the brain, let's first start with four voxels. The arrows represent the direction of the glyphs inside the voxel. At the starting voxel, we trace a straight path through the voxel. The glyph in the next voxel is turned at an angle. When we trace a path through this voxel, the path will curve. This simple step-by-step -step process is repeated throughout the millions of voxels in one brain scan. But as the tracks are built, they are not restricted to a 2D plane, they can grow in any direction, and eventually, they will become the white matter pathways that relay neuronal messages throughout the brain.